Hello, my name is Tan Xiao Hui from Group 29. Today, I'm going to explain what is quadriplegia. Quadriplegia refers to paralysis from the neck down, including the trunks, legs, and arm. Quadriplegia, it happens when the damage is at the base of a neck or skull. The most common causes is trauma, such as from a sport injury, a car accident, or a fall. Other causes are multiple sclerosis. There are two main injuries of quadriplegia. The first one is C4 paraplegia and C6 paraplegia. A C4 quadriplegia of occurs when the damage is still about the midway down the spinal cord. The topmost portions of the spinal cord that is located in the neck and the upper shoulder. Complete C4 spinal cord injury vs incomplete C4 spinal cord injury. A patient with a complete C4 quadriplegia cannot move or feel anything at or below the area where the trauma occur. But a patients which have incomplete spinal cord injury may have some sensations and movement. A C6 quadriplegia injury is one that affects the lower end of the spinal cord near the base of the neck. Injuries to this area of the spinal cord can result in the loss of sensation or functions of everything in the body from the top of the rib cage on down, including all four extremities. So, can a C6 quadriplegia patient walk again? According to the ability of the patient to walk has been restored following a spinal cord injury, using the patient's own brain power, according to the research, shows that it is possible to use direct brain controls to get a person's leg to walk again, but not their muscle. The American Spinal Cord Association, ASIA, established a grading system called the Asia Impairment Skills to describe the several spinal cord injury. ASIA A, Asia A. The complete spinal cord injury with no sensation or motor function. Asia B. The incomplete sensation functions with complete loss of motor function. Asia C. The incomplete motor functions with some movement but fewer than the half of the muscle group can lift against the gravity with the full range of motion. Asia D. The incomplete motor function with more than half of the muscle group able to lift against the gravity. The last one. Asia E. Normal. Treatments and recovery. Treatments and recovery time depend on the type of the spinal cord injury that the person has sustained. The medical team will assess the person's case and develop a suitable treatment plan and a recovery time frame. The treatment after surgery include occupational therapy, physical therapy, a consultation, and a psychotherapy. Occupational therapy is a healthcare profession. It helps people to do all the things that they want and need to do in their daily life, including their work, their school, their hobbies, their household tasks, and their social situation. A physical therapist helps to take care of the patient in all the phase of healing from the initial diagnosis to the restorative and the prevention stage of the recovery. A physical therapy may be standalone options or it may support other treatments. A psychotherapy is also known as a talk therapy. A psychotherapy helps a person to understand their feelings and emotions and equip them to face a new challenge. Psychotherapy helps to treat the challenge and symptoms relating to mental health and emotion. This diagram is the level of injury and extent of paralysis that I found online and it also extends the paralysis into four categories which is the skull, the cervical, the thoracic and the lumbar. And the part I shown here is just for the quadriplegia part. Feel free to ask any questions about it. It's all for my presentation. Thank you. Goodbye.